Hi, we're going to do loop recording, multiple takes in Cubasis. You'll need AUM for this. It's at the App Store. It's a great program. You should probably have it if you don't already. So you'll launch AUM, create a channel, and you'll also double tap on that line down the middle and create an insert. And you're going to put whatever your source is in there. In this case, I'm going to use bias effects. And uh, you wait for that to load. And then what we're going to do is we're going to send that to another channel that we open. And uh, let's see. OK, we're waiting for that to, to, to see. The problem with Cubasis is that Cubasis will overlay the audio takes, but you'll hear them. And they will, uh, they will confuse you because they'll just keep layering over and over and over each other. So what we have to do here is create a way to not hear that playback, but still be able to hear what you're recording. So we're going to create a bus send here, which you double tap. Uh, we're sending it to A. And we're going to create a new track. And we're going to take that audio source and put it into this second channel. And then from there, we're going to pass it off to Cubasis. So over here. We're going to pick up what we're sending on A. Then we're going to go open Cubasis. And in Cubasis, you can, uh, you're going to want to set your loop region. And uh, make sure your track is in record. And then you're going to want to activate the loop record feature as well. You want to select the uh, input routing. You're going to go to inner app audio, go all the way down to where you have AUM A, I think it is, or one, AUM port one. That's it. And go back to AUM, and down at the bottom, you're going to send the output of that track to Cubasis. So now you have that coming into Cubasis, but what you have to do is uh, you have to turn down the channel so you don't hear those playbacks as you record, as you go into loop record. You should now be able to hear your source because it's playing through AUM. Now when you hit record and start the looping process, you'll hear whatever tracks you have playing back in the background and it will cycle through and it's going to record this track and then it's going to go back, record the next track, the next take, and then you can just repeat this process as many times as you need to. Now, as you can see, it's layering all the takes on top of each other. And this was our problem in the first place, because otherwise, uh, in its nor normal state, you would just hear this keep playing back over and over and over again. But you can take these out after you finish, and you can create your comp if you want to. You're going to have all these individual takes. They're laying on top of each other. So you just go over and you select them and pull them out. And uh, we didn't record any source material because I can't make the video and record at the same time. I haven't tried this in uh, other apps, but the theory should apply to anything that does a recycling function like that. You just don't want to hear your previous audio takes while you're laying down the second take. So you have to create a second monitor point to hear your input as you're recording, and then you need to, to uh, mute or turn down the track that's cycling over and over. So I hope this helps. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to demonstrate it, you know, with a input source, but it has been working for me and I hope it works for you as well. Thank you.